Hello, this is David G. This is probably how you envision the ideal meditator. Sitting legs crossed, fingers in hand mudras, tranquil water glistening behind, in nature, no phones going off, no traffic, no stress, no issues. And yes, that is the ideal scenario. But as we've been exploring this process, you realize you can have this wherever you are. I may be in the sweet spot, but wherever you are, that can be your sweet spot as well. We can take this timeless wisdom and embed it in ourselves so no matter what's going on in our lives, we are grounded, centered, calm, clear, truly the stillness inside the storm. Over these past several videos, we've explored so many different types of meditations, so many different tools to take your life to the next level, so many timeless techniques that allow us in any given moment to transcend stress, to gain clarity, to truly be the calm amidst the chaos, the stillness inside the storm. You don't have to meditate for 20 years like me to access this timeless wisdom. I invite you to explore it with me in my very first meditation online video course. I've never shared these techniques in such a comprehensive way before. Online, audio, video, written form. I want you to be able to access each of the touch points so that these teachings will ripple inside of you for the rest of your life, allowing you to make more conscious choices, allowing your relationships to thrive allowing you to truly have greater empowerment, deeper fulfillment, and more peace of mind. I've been sharing these techniques and diving deep in them for more than 15 years. I've had some of the greatest masters, coaches, and mentors guide me in the most accessible ways for people to touch these teachings. And I'm inviting you right now to join me and let's explore together. I'd like to share an even more powerful technique with you. It's a meditation technique. We need to start from that platform of stillness and silence, but I want to help you manifest your deepest desires, your deepest dreams. The Brihadaranyaka Upanishad says, in chapter 4, book 4, verse 5, you are your deepest driving desire. As is your desire, so is your will. As is your will, so is your deed. And as is your deed, so is your destiny. Your desire can become your destiny. But as the Bhagavad Gita, chapter 2, verse 48 says, Yoga sta kuru karmani. Establish yourself in the present moment and then perform action. So let's get still together. Let's establish ourselves in the present moment together. And then I'll guide you through a process of manifesting your deepest desires. Let's close our eyes. And through our nostrils, take a long, slow, deep breath in. Feel that go deep into your belly and let it go. Let's do that one more time. Long, slow, deep breath in. And gently release it.
And now let's innocently follow our breath in and out. We'll watch it. We'll witness it. We'll observe it as it flows in and out. Allow your shoulders to drop. Feel your jaw unclench. Feel your whole body relax as your mind starts to slow. And if you notice that you've drifted away from following your breath, that's okay. Ever so gently, drift back to your breath. Drifting back and forth is most normal, most common during meditation. Feel yourself start to melt into your seat. And now continue to melt into your chair. Surrender to this sacred, precious, present moment. And into this stillness, let's invite one intention into our heart. Don't play small here. This is the big one, the big kahuna of intentions. Something you truly like to see unfold in your life. Some massive sea change of an intention. Remember our desire can morph into our destiny, but we have to be willing to be bold, to be courageous, to reach for the big one. Invited in. And get clear on it. Have total clarity of this intention and now plant it like a seed in the fertile soil of your heart and soul. Feel it nestle in like a seed in that cosmic garden of your heart. Raise your chest up, allow the universe to gently kiss your soul right here and take a long, slow, deep breath in. And let it go. We'll leave it up to the universe to answer. We'll leave it up to spirit to sort out the details. And let's continue to follow our breath in and out. We've planted that intention deep within. It takes one minute for all the blood in your heart to leave, circulate through your body and come back in. And right now that intention is touching millions and millions of cells, sprinkling through your entire body, bathing your organs, bathing your skin, washing your brain. At this point, it's halfway through your entire circulatory system. It's touching your nerve endings, your dendrites, your axioms. It's drifting through all of your muscles, your sinews. Now it's coming down the home stretch back into your heart. It's just about touched every cell in your entire body. And just as that intention makes its way right back to your heart, place your hands on your heart. 
And now know that that intention is rippling through every single of the one trillion cells in your body. It's a sankalpa, a subtle intention that's running in the background and will continue to run in the background and activate whenever you connect to stillness and silence. Take a long, slow, deep breath in. Feel that gratitude surge into your body and let it go. You've planted the seeds in that still, fertile soil. We've surrendered the outcome, allowing the universe to work its magic. And now we need to trust. Trust that this moment is pure and perfect and whole. And that every moment leading up to this moment is pure and perfect and whole. And our final step is to lean in the direction of our dreams. Take a step into those dreams. So I encourage you in some way, some form, not tomorrow, but today, as close to now as possible, Let's take a step. Let's text someone. Let's email someone. Let's pick up the phone. Let's get out. Let's do that thing. Physically move in the direction of our dream and allow that intention to manifest. Coming from that place of stillness and silence, you will receive everything you could ever commit to lean into and hope for that you must take the step. I invite you to register for my meditation online video course. I've trained hundreds of thousands of people around the world, members of the military, special forces, law enforcement, high pressured business people, stay-at-home moms, nannies, yogis, and everyone in between. And for the very, very first time in my life, I have the opportunity to share with you at such a deep level these timeless teachings in a way that you can practically apply them to your life for physical well-being, emotional healing, and deeper spiritual connection. Each lesson has been meticulously crafted to include powerful techniques, processes, tools, and tips to help you take your life to the next level. We explore not just the basics of how to sit, when to meditate, what you can experience, and all those nuances, but we go deeper into how to use meditation as a tool to truly emotionally heal, to cultivate and refine your practice, to make it stick, to allow you to overcome all the challenges and roadblocks and speed bumps. I'll share with you the secrets and the myths that I have been teaching around the world for more than a decade. I'll share with you the obvious pitfalls and the rookie mistakes so many ex-meditators have made. I encourage you to really hang in there, to go through this process with me, because I know that at the end of it, your life will thrive magnificently, will elevate and you'll experience moments you never even envisioned before. After spending more than 20 years in the corporate world, I was able to transition to a life of deeper fulfillment, greater empowerment, and more peace of mind. 
by implementing these techniques and I would like to share them with you as well. Register for this course and we'll go on a journey like no other. In addition to you accessing this timeless wisdom, we're going to translate it together into practical tools, stress management tools, conscious choice making tools, techniques that will allow you in a given moment to be real clear headed, master your emotions instead of them overwhelming you, be more reflective instead of reflexive, be more unconditioned instead of succumbing to our conditioned responses, to have the challenging conversation, the difficult moment with greater grace, greater ease, to allow your heart to expand and have greater self-forgiveness, greater self-compassion, greater self-courage. These tools can be woven into your life on a daily basis and within moments you will have the clarity, the clear-headedness, and the vision to move your life from where it is to where you'd like it to be. With these tools you're never stuck and you can always move forward. And I encourage you to access these touch points. We can always tell the person in the room who's meditating. We can always tell the person in the room who's got total control over the moment, who's in the zone. And this course will teach you how to stay in that zone through challenges and triumphs alike. Join me on this magnificent voyage into the depths of your soul. And day by day, bean by bean, you'll see your life blossom and bloom. You'll see your heart awaken and lighten. You'll feel the love of the universe come into you. And you feel success flow into your personal, professional, material, emotional, relationship and spiritual life. I look forward to seeing you on the journey. We'll include a live call so we can all connect and build this community together. We'll answer any of your questions. We'll share your successes, your challenges, your triumphs. and will transform the world as we transform ourselves. From the sweet spot of the universe, this is David G. and Peaches, the Buddha Princess, saying thank you for joining us. Thank you for journeying with us. And we look forward to journeying with you further as we take our lives to the next level through the power of this online meditation course. Namaste.